Well, good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Retired for Life. All right, so we've got some roots I'm going to cut off here, get rid of that, and some rocks to pick up. And then we are going to do some grading of this site to try to get it smooth. As for the trail, the chips have been working really well. This would have been totally impassable uh, without these chips being in place here. What I really need to do is dig proper drainage. I need to dig a drainage ditch that goes all the way along here, cuts across this trail, and then over to where this little uh, collection pond is. I just, I just really haven't had the stamina to, to do that. Because water sits everywhere here. And that's the problem, is all this water that just sits here and soaks in and makes everything muddy. So we'll have a quick look down here at the pipe. There's been so much rain this year, the water just never stops flowing. And as you can see, we've uh, made really nice progress down here with that big rock gone. The uh, pipe is pretty much uh, nicely covered now and uh, very firmly in place. So that's really good. And that's about as far as we're going to go right now. That mess down there is for another time. But this has got us to the point that I want to be at for now. So we are going to get back and focus on getting this site prepped and then get the floor down. If I can get the floor down before winter, I will be happy about that. All right, let's get to work. Well, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, we're looking good. We're, we have a gentle slope coming from the back to the front, which is what I want. This corner over here is where the building is gonna go. And that is the driest spot as well on this site. We do get a little dampness over on this side. So that's pretty good. All right, next task is I've actually got to finish figuring out how big this building is going to be. 
I still really haven't decided. It's not going to be huge. Like I say, it's a small building, um, but I've got the room, so I might make it a little bit bigger than originally planned. Anyway, it's time for lunch. Well, we have our site pretty much set to go, so the next step is to start preparing our lumber. And what I mean to do here is get my 6 by 6s out that we're using for the foundation, set them up in the saw, and take a trim off of them. All right, folks, the goal here is really simple. These are all for the floor. So I want everything the same. You know, it's come off a sawmill, so you can see there's a very slight difference in some of them. Like there's one there that's a little bit high. So what I'm gonna do is set the blade so that we're just skimming maybe a quarter of an inch in general off the top of these. And the blade is gonna stay in that position while I run all of these through. And it's just gonna be the one side and I'm gonna mark that side as the side facing up. So that should give me a really nice level floor. All right, there's my floor joists. So I've got uh, 26 here. So my building, or at least the floor, is gonna be roughly 12 feet by 12 feet. Now the front four feet of that will be uh, a, an outside deck. So I'm gonna be doing uh, double two by sixes all the way around the outside, and then one double two by six going through uh, where the wall will be that is going to sit at the edge of the deck, the inside edge of the deck. And then the rest will be uh, single two by sixes for the floor joists. All right, let's get these down to the shop and I wanna get them uh, sticker and stacked and covered up. Don't like leaving lumber in the sun. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying today's video. And if you have, I'd really appreciate the like. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, if you've got any thoughts, suggestions, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to the job. So after a lot of debate back and forth with myself, I have finally decided on what my outside dimensions are going to be. I've really been switching it around, but the big thing was floorboards, and I've got more than enough floorboards to expand this a little bigger than my original plan, which was a uh, 10 by eight shed that had a four foot porch on the front of it. So I've decided to go um, a couple of feet bigger than that. So the shed itself will be 12 by eight with the four foot uh, deck on the front. So what I'm doing here is starting to piece together my outside pieces for the foundation and they're made up of doubled up two by sixes. So my final size that I'm going to lay these out for is going to be 12 feet by 12 feet six inches. Uh, that will give me a little extra room that the width of the boards take up. So when I put my wall up uh, for the uh, porch, I'll still have an inside dimension of pretty close to my uh, eight foot width that I want. 
So we're gonna keep working away at this and get all these pieces together on this nice flat floor before I take them down to the building site. Well, it has been another stupid hot day today. Holy mackerel. So we have got our four outside lengths, double lengths, uh, all put together. So I've got one more double to uh, put together, and that's the one that's going to go in um, eight feet long to give the eight foot depth of the inside of the cabin. So what I'm gonna do is, now that I've got this cut out, is lay this out on the yard here, where it's still nice and easy to work, do some measurements and check to make sure everything is where I want it to be, and then I can also get a really accurate measurement for the uh, inside double piece that's gonna go in. And that will have them all ready. And then these can actually go down to the site. And the other thing I can do while I've got it uh, figured out is lay out for the remainder of the floor joists and cut them all to length as well. That way, it will just be a matter of assembling the floor down there once I've got the footings in for it and that, that kind of thing. And I'm still kind of scheming on that. Now it is just a storage shed kind of thing, so I don't want to get carried away uh, on the uh, footings. I'm not going to get very fancy on it, but I'll show you that when we get to it. For now, I think it's Miller time, oh, and we'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, folks. So what I have done here is I've got my one of the back pieces uh, that is my 12 foot length and I took a couple of scrap pieces from the two by sixes and assembled them the same way the side pieces are going to go together and then I actually fastened them in place onto the back this allows me to get a true measurement I mean you can use math and you should be pretty close but that doesn't always work that great. It won't account for your actual board thicknesses and that kind of thing. Now, I was fairly careful when I was cutting my uh, lumber to stay pretty constant on my thicknesses, but not dead on. So the math tells me that my piece that's going to go in the center, side to side, eight feet out, should be... 137 inches but the fact is my boards are a little bit narrower than the inch and three quarters not much just a little bit so I end up with an actual 
length for that board of 137 and 1 8 inches. So that's the last double board that uh, I have to make up. So we're going to get that done and then take this whole thing over and lay it out on the lawn so I can put a measuring tape on it and actually make sure that my board lengths are going to work and I can look and measure and see exactly how many floor joists I'm going to need and that kind of thing. All right, let's get this uh, center board made up and then we'll do that. Okay, folks, so there is our outline of the cabin. So that is going to give me an inside dimension of the cabin of uh, eight feet and about 11 feet or 11 feet, eight inches um, for open floor. So that's good. I'm quite pleased with that. And then we will have the dividing wall here, the front wall of the cabin, and then the front deck. Now the front deck is going to be a little under four feet deep. So it gives me lots of room to put a chair out here or a bench or anything like that, uh, that I want to put in. So the door I'm figuring is going to be towards this side and two windows in the back, one window in the front, because the sun, that is the south facing wall, so the sun will come in those back two windows. Uh, I don't really need windows in either end. There's no need for them that I can think of, especially considering this side is going to be up against the brush. I might put one window in that end, I don't know. And this is going to have a sloped roof coming from the uh, front high going down to the back. And then the, uh, the front deck will have a slightly lower uh, roof that will come off this way. So my floor joists are all going to run here in this direction, both in the... Uh, main part of the cabin and on the uh, front deck. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm pleased with that. So I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, fooling around here, measuring, figuring out just how many joists I'm going to need to make sure that I've got enough lumber cut and ready to go. So far, so good. All right, folks, I think that's gonna be it for uh, today's video. If you've got any comments, suggestions, anything like that, I would love to hear from you. And I always get back to everybody that leaves a comment. So I very much appreciate that. I very much appreciate the input and the help that I get from a lot of people who know a lot more about this kind of thing than I do. And I use a lot of those ideas. So thanks very much for watching. Remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time. Yeah, that's not bad.